Good morning. I uh, hope everybody's having a great Thursday morning. I almost said Tuesday. I posted the other. I posted yesterday. Happy uh, Tuesday. It was Wednesday, so it shows what kind of week it's been. It's been a good week, but anyway, just a quick tip here. Uh, we're dealing with this with a file right now with a veteran, and we've been pushing this builder for, since day one uh, for to get their builder ID number. So what they have to do is they have to fill out, I think, three or four forms, send it to VA, and get a builder ID number for VA uh, to make sure that, that the veteran can close on the property. So uh, it's kind of hanging us up right now, but we've been pushing and pushing, and, and here we are with it. So just something to be aware of. When you uh, look for new construction and so forth, just ask them about their builder ID number. Uh, that's going to be required for VA. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so and then uh, here's another tip here that I came across this morning too for investment properties. Uh, we do investment properties. You know, we can do 15% down, but then the, the PMI is ugly. So we usually just say 20% down um, on that at least. Um, but with 20% down, seller concessions on an investment property is 2% max. Okay, so, so just be aware of that. Um, and then when you buy an investment property or buy a second home, uh, the only two uh, loans out there that you could do f for that. I mean, basically, is, is a conventional loan. You cannot do a government loan, meaning FHA, uh, VA, and so forth. I mean, to purchase it as an investment property or purchase it as a um, second home. So, if you're living in a house, going back to VA now, if you're living in a house and that, now you want to purchase another house, um, yes, you can move out of that house and, and then you could rent your current house if that's your plans. Okay, so you can have two VA loans at the same time, but we just have to check um, the COE certificate of eligibility and see how much you can do 100% financing on the next house and so forth. So hopefully that all makes sense. Just want to give you a quick tip here as they come to me, as situations come. So hopefully you find this helpful. Um, comment down below with any questions or shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. 423-262-9229. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.